Hello everyone, welcome to another episode ng uh, weekend charting session and of course walang trading ngayon pero uh, in preparation for uh, trading tomorrow dahil uh, malapit na yung uh, Fed meeting which is na uh, one of the events na inaantay for the stock market to move no? kasi yan yung market movers natin so uh, we will do some charting today para sa mga request nyo for the preparation of the trading next Wednesday. Hello guys, welcome sa Hybrid Analytics YouTube channel. In this channel, we are uh, making a lot of review every week ng mga stock requests, no? Galing sa ating Facebook group. And then, subscribe natin, i-click natin yung bell tapos select natin yung all para may notifications kayo every time na nag-update tayo or nagpo-post tayo sa community. Okay? So, dito sa community, meron tayong mga ilang announcement mga as in the community ng lahat ng nag-subscribe. And then, if you want to learn more about stock market, just check our playlist. And then, ayan, nandito yung ating mga stock market learning resources. Meron din tayo dyang uh, free webinar series, 17 videos, no? Yung isa is 19 videos. We also have here a join button. So, if you want to unlock yung mga video na for members only. Anyway, uh, if you want to uh, vote dito sa ating mga stock requests, yung chart natin every week. So, just uh, join our Facebook group, Philippine Stock Market Analytics. Okay? So, join lang kayo dito para makapag-vote kayo dito sa ating poll na chinachart naman natin every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? Last dito rin tayo nag-poll para sa live charting every Wednesday or Tuesday. Okay? So, join lang kayo dito. Uh, Philippine Stock Market Analytics, TFT Institute. Enjoy watching guys and thank you for supporting our channel. Okay? So, mag-start tayo with our PSE. So, PSE last Friday is nagkaroon ng value turnover of almost 4 billion with net foreign selling of negative 41 M. So, medyo okay lang. And yun, puro, puro pagsak halos lahat, no? except financials. Though, Friday pa yan kasi Monday, Tuesday, may trading na sa, sa US. So, medyo naiwan tayo. No? So, to cope up no? para makita natin yung nangyari sa US. Actually, marami ng movement na nangyari. No? Or US, ayun, no? tuloy-tuloy yung rally niya. Okay? Monday, uh, Friday, then Monday. Okay? Then next is, yung iba naman, hindi naman ganyang kalakas. SNP. SNP ay yung nasa gitna siya. And then Nasdaq is parang nasa gitna din. Ayan, sa so Dow Jones lang talaga yung strong. No? So it means na uh, undecided pa. Okay, undecided pa. For Japan, of course, maganda yung data for Japan. Kaya malakas. For China, negative data. Pero nag-technical bounce. Ayan, no? Negative yung kanyang mga PMI. And, pero yung GDP is, of course, hindi tayo naniniwala na positive yun. So, that's it, no? Nag-technical bounce lang, pero basagyan dito. Mula dito yan. Mula dito, basagyan tuloy tuloy yung basag yan. Technical bounce din, I think, depende. No? Depende. Nag-oversold lang. Okay? So, bonds. Ang Philippine bonds is up yun. So, ang taso, 7.5. No? Kasi, regardless of the Fed meeting, mas mataas si BSP. Okay? So, that's why mas mas perish sa Philippines kaysa sa US. Kasi si BSP kailangan niyang mas taasan yung interest rates niya kaysa kay Fed. Okay? That's why medyo maganda naman niya in the long run. Pero in the short run, hindi. Okay? Kaya yung ating uh, currency medyo strong ngayon. Ayun o. Oh. From 59 down to 58. So, strong siya kasi nga uh, aggressive si, uh, si BSP. nag intervene plus ayan, uh, mas tataasan niya pa si, si Fed. Okay. Europe countries medyo nakarecover. So, kumusta naman ang USD, DX? 
So, yun, medyo kita nyo na lahat nasa gitna, no? So, in other words, lahat is waiting. Okay? Lahat nag-aantay. So, walang movement yan hanggat hindi tapos mag-meeting. Though, may mga negative news like yung wheat na umatras yung Russia. Kaya nag-gap up siya, no? Parang hindi pinayagan ng Russia na dumaan sa Black Sea yung, kanil, yung export ng Ukraine. So, ayan, that's uh, negative news. Okay? Check natin si oil. Si oil. Ato na si oil. Okay? So, at least si oil is nasa baba pa rin. No? Hindi na umaakyat. Kasi, syempre, uh, alam na na may recession. So, overall, no? all in all for the Philippines since naiwan tayo. Pero nakita nyo yung movement sa global. So, it seems na sinunod lang ni PSE yung yung ina-expect ng lahat no? Pina, pre-novide lang which is fill the gap dito sa 7 or 6-2 nag-fill the gap lang so with the remaining days bago mag-bed meeting magko-console lang yan dito I think baka green yan sa Wednesday then Thursday malalaman ko saan ang, ang direction niya no? pero as long as hindi tapos yung meeting, dyan lang yan iikot sa, sa range na yan. 6-2, 6-1-40, sobrang liit. Tight konso ang gagawin. And then, syempre, if si Fed is nag-decide na mag-slow down, then it can rally hanggang hanggang natin kung saan pwede. Okay. So, yan. 6-5, no? 6-5. Kapag nag, naging uh, dabish si Powell. No? Pero nung nakaraan, dabish naman siya. And expected yung ginawa niya. Pero yung tone. Okay, so after ng decision, which is 75 or 50 or 100, after ibigay yung points, eh, wait for the tone. No? Kung dabish pa or hawkish na. Kung mag slow down ba. Kasi technical wise, ayan no? Relief rally lang yan as ilalim pa. Okay? Ayun o, no, nasa 50 pa. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo na technically, nag-rebound lang. Pero, hindi pa siya bullish. So, pag still, pag-dubbish pa rin, pag-hawish pa rin si Fred, eh di, pwede yung mag-revisit sa around 5.8 and uh, 5.6. Okay? Pero, pag nag-pivot, or hindi yan mag-pivot eh, mag slow down lang yan. And then, i-re-reassess anong mangyayari sa market kapag nag-slow down sila. Pero, well, we're neutral. No? Hindi neutral tayo. So, kung ano man yung decision niya, sabay lang. Okay? So, pag, since wala namang hawak, no? kapag dabish, we can buy some. Kapag naman hawkish, eh di abang sa ilalim. 5.7 or baka may 5.5 na this time. Okay? So, yun lang for this week. Yun yung guide natin for this week. No? Either dito yan or dito. So, abang kay Fed. Wala mo lang galawan. Uh, pwedeng mag-anticipate. Pero risk at your own. Kasi alam nyo naman si Powell. No? Palaging negative ang sinasabi niya. So, kada word na bibitawan niya is negative from your portfolio. So, mas mabuting cash. Mabilis sumabol pag bull run. Nasa ilalim eh. Kung magbubull run yan, hindi lang 100% ang kayang mag-gain natin dyan. So, antay na lang natin mag-bull run or mag-hawkish or mag si Fed or sabihin niya kung ano talaga yung stance niya. Pero in the long term, I think, hindi pa. No? Hindi pa. Maka next year, malalaman natin next year, uh, abangan natin yung CPI data. Maganda na yung CPI, eh, baka may chance na mag, mag-bottom out na. No? Pero for now, wala pa. Okay, so yun lang for PSE. Mag-iingat. No? Uh, yung mga nagpa-forex yan, uh, nag-aantay din actually. Nag-aantay din ng movement USDJPY. Ayan, nag-aantay ng movement from the central bank. Nag-decide na si Japan na uh, hindi mag-hike kaya umakit yan. Pero... The console is waiting for Federal Reserve. No? Same chart for DX. Yeah, waiting lang si DX kung saan ang direction niya. Pero normally, mayroon na siyang 
Pero na siya Ayan May cringe na Na medyo pababa Okay, so somehow Sabihin, nag-anticipate ang market na mag slow down si Fed, yan ang ibig sabihin yan. Pero kung may breakout din dyan, edi tuloy, no? tuloy ang uh, bear market. Or bonds ng US, ganyan din. Ito na yung bonds ng US. Ayan, ganyan din ang bonds ng US. No? Nag-aantay lang din, no? waiting for the decision if it pero ito kasi is uptrend pa no may channel pa okay so yun uh, higher high pa rin yan lower higher low so ingat hindi pa totally tapos no and nagii-stage na 4% so make or break no either go up or go down depending kay pwede kung dovish or hawkish no So, pag-dabish na siya, eto na yan. Pag-hawkish, akit yan. Okay? So, inverse with your equity. Okay, so yun lang for for the Philippines, no? for the indices. So, yun, mamaya part 1 tayo. Ayan. Tama dyan yung eagle and then part 2. Okay, so yun lang. Uh, ingat and trade at your own risk. No? Uh, risk off muna, mas mabuti pa. Okay?